Hello and welcome to my feature highlights in April 2025 with SAP Datasphere. Another great month is in the books. We delivered lots of new features and enhancements with our April releases. So let's check out my top features. The first one, in the analytic model. We now introduced stacking of analytic models with Wave 8 in April. This means you can now create a new analytic model using another analytic model as a fact source and reuse the model definitions, measures and exposed attributes as well as dimensions and variables. With Wave 9 we also enabled the replacement of a fact source in an existing analytic model by just dragging and dropping the fact source over the old one on the canvas. With that same wave we also introduced a measure dependency graph, meaning that you can now display an impact and lineage analysis for measures in the analytic model. So that's very cool. In addition, you can now change the format of a measure in an analytic model in the new formatting section of the editor. So defining the decimal places and scale of the measure already in the model. The second one. Data validation. The data validation framework has been enhanced with a referential integrity check. This new validation rule helps you ensure that all values in foreign key columns of fact views are present in the key columns of the associated dimensions. The third one, Microsoft SQL Server in replication flows. You can now use connection type Microsoft SQL Server as a source to replicate data from these SQL Server databases to all targets in replication flows. The fourth one, deep retry of task chains. For task chains that include nested task chains, the behavior for retrying failed tasks with a nested task chain has been improved. So when a task chain reports a failure, and the failure occurred running one of the tasks inside a nested task chain, the retry of the parent task chain no longer requires rerunning all the tasks in the nested task chain, but only needs to rerun tasks from the point where an individual task reported a failure. So, all in all, very cool features helping you to use SAP Datasphere way more efficiently. Thanks for joining me this month for the SAP Datasphere Highlight Overview. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up down here and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest updates. Take care and see you soon.